Hi guys and girls, AJ here, just a quick video, a little update on iOS 14.5 Developer Beta 6 by Apple Inc. Um, not such a, a massive huge file that we've had in the past of over a gig here and there. Um, there is a few bits and pieces in this update and one of those, and they're not amazing, but one of those is Siri. So if you go down to Siri and search, you have Siri voice so if you've got it through iCloud um, you can connect to all your voice device, devices like HomePod, your Apple Watch, um, your different iPads maybe if you've got more than one phone um, and you can change now a variety so you can have um, you know if you've got it in say South African sounding you've got Irish, Indian, British, Australian, American and then voice one and two which is man and female so Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose. Hi, I'm Siri. 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 Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like. Another feature that is found is in the Apple Music. So what you can do is you can go into, say for instance, songs. You could then swipe to the right and you have either play first on the list, or play last on the list, or you have another one, oh, which is delete or download. So you can delete a song by swiping right across or selecting one of the two here or you can go right there as well so that's a feature there um, or even better you could just do that um, yeah I just don't see the point of putting that small menu for left and right to be honest if that's all we do all day anyway with iPhones um, yeah it's a, a bit of an odd one but that's the other feature as well that we have the other feature is in settings and it's a battery health. So if you've got an iPhone 11 upwards to 12 Pro Max, um, you go into a battery health. You now have a little bit more information. So important battery message. So this will basically um, is to tell you that they're going to be recalibrating. So over the next week or two, uh, recalibrating of maximum capacity and peak performance capability. This process may take a few weeks. So at the moment, maximum capacity says 100%. Now, before I downloaded this beta 6, um, I think my phone was at 97%. So that's not too bad for this being my daily driver, uh, Apple Pro 11 Pro Max, rather. Um, that's not too bad. And most of the, when I first had it, my first sort of six, seven months, I plug into the bottom. But then this has been a new phone that Apple gave me because my other one got fried on holiday. Um, and ever since then, I've been using the Qi charger to charge this overnight. So the battery on this should be better in some respects. But it's saying here 100% capacity with a little tick uh, star there. And this is this is the reported maximum capacity before recalibration, actual maximum capacity may be different. So yeah, I think they just put that there because it's near 100% when it's done it quickly to read, to understand the battery. But once it's measured out what apps or what things, what items, whether it be the camera or the microphone or the screen that drains the battery the most, once it's worked that out over maybe a week or two or a few days, then you'll get a, a, a better true reading. So this is to help you with certainly the phones that are bigger batteries, not so much maybe the iPhone minis, but the bigger battery ones. Um, you still have all this other optimized bit here, but then you have all this bump as you go through to the support side of things. So it tells you about this, um, which is a health reporting for 11 and upwards. And then it tells you all about behaviors and things like that what it determines what is causing 
these things. So it sets up algorithms. So here we go again, a bit like YouTube, um, but it helps you. And it will send you messages once this is all sorted out and once it knows what is what. Now battery servicing. So if you get for Apple Care Plus, then that's pretty good, that may help you. But once you start getting other little messages that maybe the capacity is not so good, um, then there may be less chance of them actually replacing your battery for you, depending on how old your phone is. From 11 upwards, it's not that old, is it? So really Apple don't do a, a, a very huge long life um, guarantee warranty type of thing compared to a lot of companies out there, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's all to help you with your phone and give you a more accurate sort of dialogue really, I suppose, of the things that you need in your life for your phone. But that's it really, not much has happened um, in with this. If we go to Geekbench, in here, and let's, and so there we go. So it has a 7588 on that. So, so on this device, 7588 on average Pro Max, then Pro Max is 7210. iPhone compute comparison. So as you can see there, there's a the differences between the 11, the Pro and the Pro Max. And then all the way down to all the other ones. So history, if we compare, um, so 7588, and that was on the first. Um, so that is that, then you've got the CPU. So where are we? So that'd probably be the better one to use. So we go CPU, come out of there, come back out of there, and out of there. And now what we do is we run a CPU. So here we have the Geekbench score results just come in. So 1338 for the single core score and multi-score core is 3480. So that was for today. So that's that. So there we go. So not too bad, um, a little bit better. And uh, yeah, but if I see any more things that are in here, let's just check the weather. Sometimes that has some sort of different apps. No, there's still a fault with that. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, we will see, look at that. Snow, Monday, Friday, and Saturday. Why are you having a laugh? And yet it's nice and sunny today. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. AJ out, and I'll see you all real soon. Stay safe. Oh, and by the way, 67 days to go till June the 7th. Hopefully, a new Apple Watch will be coming out. So, see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.